Pastor Ken, I thank God for you. Um, I've known you since I came to this area. And this was a beauty shop. It was. At the time when I first met you. And the one thing that I would say is that I thank you for being a friend. Amen. Um, I would sing the Golden Girl song. <laughs> but thank you for being a friend. Um, I've been here almost 20 years um, in this area. And the one thing that I appreciate about you is your consistency in friendship. <laughs> I've known a lot of people in this area, but you have maintained consistency and you always let me be me. And so I appreciate this church family and I thank God because I've watched you be an integral woman. Thank you. And that's what I honor about you. When I speak of you, I speak of your integrity. I speak of your commitment. And if God said it, you simply believe it. And I've never seen you deviate from any of that. And I appreciate your husband standing with you. I appreciate his church standing with you. And I honestly want to say to you that your labor is not in vain. And to be very honest with you, um, there is... There is a blessing coming to you that literally has nothing to do with this church. It's not about, oh, forgetting the church, but I'm saying you sacrificed and you stayed committed and you drove in and you, regardless of what it looked like, I never heard you say, I quit. And I certainly appreciate your commitment to the community. I know your vision, I've heard your vision, and I praise God for it, and more than anything, you've shown me great kindness, and I appreciate that there were times when I literally felt like I was in the wrong place, but you would just pick up the phone and call me, and you would just say, I just called and say, hey, didn't want nothing, and it made me stay the course, and I promise you from the things that God is doing for me, I know that faithfulness pays off. Yeah. I promise to God. The things that I'm seeing, watch, watching God do right now for me are a direct result of faithfulness. Amen. So I promise you as surely as you stand here today that there are things coming because God remembers the sacrifices you made. The tears you've cried, how you stood, how you cared for others. You have been the true epitome of a shepherd. God bless you. Amen.